there welcome back to lima bean living if you guys are new here my name is emily welcome to my little motherhood channel where i take care of all things mom in today's video we are going to be setting up for christmas around my house this is a new build this is our very first christmas in this house so i'm really excited to make it homey and just start our new traditions with our little family so i'm starting off by just kind of tidying up the space and we're gonna set up our little christmas tree now we got this christmas tree when we were stationed in texas and it's just a very small one that's pre-lit kind of has berries and pine cones and I think we got it from Home Depot. And for us right now, this small little tree is the perfect size for our house. We don't have like a two story house with like this big area for a huge Christmas tree and anything bigger would seem a little bit overwhelming. And so right now with even like with the kids being small, it's just, this is perfect for us. I don't envision us getting anything bigger and when I was growing up, we would get a real tree, but then my mom eventually like switched to a fake tree and that's just kind of been what I've been used to. So I'm happy with it. Uh, some of the lights actually burnt out and it was an easy fix. Um, you'll see in a later video, I used just like a Dollar Tree strand to fill in the missing piece. These will be perfect for fixing the broken one. High five. No, hey, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I, I love you so much. <laughs> so that was really cute. Aubrey was just like, you know, we got this. Like she's, she has some great little one liners day to day. But anyways, our Christmas tree is set up. I will be fixing those lights, like I said, in a later video. And then um, I did plug it into like the switch so that we could easily turn it on and off. But later Juan, you know, set it up so that we can just tell our Alexa system to turn it on. Moving into our master, um, we had this like little tree from Hobby Lobby and I thought it would look cute here. Um, we had a tradition to like decorate a candle every Christmas since we were married and Juan and I kind of missed the last two Christmases. So hopefully we'll get back on track. And then in Aubrey's room, I decided to make this little DIY Christmas tree from the Dollar Tree. And you just take two of their mini Christmas trees, fold all of the branches to like one half and then put the two individual Christmas trees together and just kind of like twist some of the branches like around so that the two trees are secure and then you have like a better looking tree not like a Charlie Brown tree but anyways um Aubrey brought this into her room and decorated it and you know <laughs> you can barely see the tree it's just mostly ornaments but she's happy with it on our bigger tree, I decided to break open this little pack of ornaments from Bethlehem that a family a friend gave us. And I just thought they were really pretty, very simple. And I didn't want like our bigger yet still small Christmas tree to be too like overwhelming, especially since it's smaller. With bigger trees, I feel like you can add a lot more ornaments and have it look really nice. But I just wanted to keep it simple and I thought that these wooden ornaments would look perfect on our tree. All right, so moving on, we're gonna be decorating our kitchen area, our kitchen window. So I removed all of the Thanksgiving like sticky, clingy window things. And on the little ledge, I am putting this 
cute little glass jar filled with Dollar Tree like white sand and little trees. And I, I just, I love this little look. And then some other pine cones as well as like a sign that Aubrey bought on her, her special trip to the Dollar Tree. And then I broke out some of our winter themed sticky clingy things. I really don't know what they're called, but we're just gonna be setting those up. I, I kind of like this tradition of letting Aubrey help me. And I like having these on our kitchen window because they are out of reach on a day-to-day -day basis. She will not come around and rip them apart, which I know she would if she could like get to them easily. So it's kind of nice just to like have her set it up. We can make it like a fun activity. But then, you know, she just gets to admire it from afar <laughs> the rest of the time that it is actually up on our window. And I do want to mention that I was in the Dollar Tree recently and I did see like a similar or the same window clings. So if this is something that you, you know, hope to pick up, they should still have it in stock. several times it hurts to admit that we're no different i find it hard to commit but you don't even try still i'm better with than without you oh Now recently it was Juan's birthday so I'm taking down some of the little birthday decorations and I thought I would put up this little homemade garland that I made using some twine and jingle bells and mini ornaments from the Dollar Tree. Because I've been hanging up so much stuff here recently we did add some little clear hooks to make hanging things a little bit easier and more like nice looking rather than having like a bunch of blue tape everywhere so i'm excited to hang more stuff in this area so speaking of celebrations and birthdays i would like to thank chen Xianzing tiana packaging company for sponsoring this portion of today's video they make a variety of little gift packages and treats that you could give for a birthday like i did for Juan, or for christmas coming up or any other really celebration that you want we got the hazel and cream package but they have a whole bunch of choices for you to choose from and these were just like really nicely dipped like oreo cookies and Juan was nice enough to share one of them with me. It was really delicious and he enjoyed them. And I just gotta say this box didn't last very long in our house. So if this seems like, you know, a nice little sweet treat that you'd like to give to someone for the holidays or for their upcoming birthday, I will leave their link in the description box below for your convenience. So keeping on the topic of food, I'm hanging a little homemade uh, quilted wreath that my aunt made for Christmas one year during our like um, DIY exchange. And I thought it was perfect for the pantry because it is actually material of like foods. It has like cucumbers, I believe, and peppers, but from afar, it just looks like a Christmas wreath. So I thought that would be the perfect little place for that wreath. And now we're moving on to decorating our bathrooms. I'm removing all of our fall decor, getting our like mirror clean from my little pumpkins that I drew for the fall and for Thanksgiving and my aunt's birthday party. I did add some more of these little clear hooks around our mirror so that I could string up some Dollar Tree, I think it's garland, I was it's what you would call garland, I don't know, it's like the plastic things with like mistletoe and snowflakes and candy canes and things like that. So I'm just stringing that around the perimeter of the mirror and it actually made like our bathroom mirror feel so much bigger. It was really weird that that was the case, but I was gonna hang up the candy canes and Aubrey asked me if she could have them and she like strung them across her room and taped it up and, you know, decorated in her own way. And then I'm just removing this little fall sign that I made and put in something fun for the kids since it's in the kids' restroom. 
this little wreath I made with the same garland things and I made this in Texas. It's a very early video on my channel. This took me forever to do and it's a rather small wreath, but it's perfect for, you know, keeping with the theme that's in this bathroom and, you know, it just, it fits. In our bathroom, the master bathroom, I just put some little mini trees from, I think the Target dollar spot like a couple years ago. And then I keeping with this kind of gold look, I'm hanging up this homemade DIY little ornament that I made using Dollar Tree supplies. And then I also made this wreath. It's going on our master bedroom door uh, made out of Dollar Tree ornaments. And on the kids' bedrooms, I'm just hanging some Dollar Tree signs. So moving back to the kitchen, I like to have like a little themed bouquet. And so these are all just fake flowers that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree and I'm just like replacing them. I have all of the bouquets like already together in my holiday boxes. So it's like take one out, put another one in. There's not much additional thought. And then this advent um, calendar of Christmas crafts, I picked up from Target last year, like at clearance. And so I thought this would be like a really fun thing to do with Aubrey since she's into crafting right now. So we just kind of got started on day one. This video is filmed over a number of days because I didn't want to like rush getting all decorated. So anyways, um, we got started on this and Aubrey has been looking forward to the craft each day ever since we got started. So let's go ahead and undecorate and redecorate our outside area, but first we got to give it a good clean because this walkway, for some reason, even though it's covered and kind of out of the way, it gets really dirty. So it was really nice to, you know, sweep up our little walkway here and make it all clean. And then we will be adding some homemade decor that I've made from Dollar Tree products. It's like I can't walk on the ceiling Oh yeah Got me dreaming Dreaming in colors I never dreaming Oh yeah I let you in so I know that this is really simple. In the future, I might do something a little bit more elaborate, but I like the color scheme. I like that it all just kind of goes together. And then in the front little area, I added a little Dollar Tree penguin that goes in the ground, as well as a cute little like chalk sign that my friend Sammy made. She is really into chalk art. She does a great job. She like does people's weddings and stuff like that. And so I feel just so special to have like one of her homemade crafts in my front yard. So next up, we are setting up our little manger. This is something that Juan was really excited to get. And we thought we wrapped up everything, you know, pretty carefully. There was a ton of bubble wrap, but unfortunately the wise men weren't very wise. <laughs> or we weren't very wise in wrapping the wise men because one got beheaded and another guy lost his foot. But it's nothing a little bit of E6000 can fix. So that's like a super duper super glue. I got my little helper just kind of keeping me company as I'm decorating. Then we're moving on to working on our glass board. As you can see, I had, you know, it's kind of decorated it for Juan's birthday, but we are moving on to Christmas. So I'm just doing like a little like lighted garland on top. And then I thought it'd be fun to like 
you know, count down the days to Christmas on this board with Aubrey each day and uh, just draw some gifts at the bottom. And then Aubrey definitely wanted me to put um, like her name on the board. We talk about how she spells her name and stuff like that. So that's why that is up there too. And then we're gonna wrap it up with decorating above our island. These are some brown paper bag snowflakes that I made last Christmas, and I shared it on this channel how to make it. And my mom actually brought these back over to my house today as I'm like doing this voiceover. And she was like, oh, this might look good above your island. So I was like, you know what, you're right. So I went ahead and hung up those guys. I don't know where I'm gonna hang the third one, so stay tuned. I don't, I don't know if that's actually going to get hung at all. But anyways, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that you guys like my simple decorations. I would love to have like endless funds to have a Pinterest worthy house, but I really just try to work with what I have and, you know, just really try to find the best place for what I have around my house. And I hope I did a good job. I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.